Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Stradivarius haul. Now if you guys are anything like me, you're probably chilling out at home right now. Maybe not chilling, but like working from home right now and doing summer classes or internships or you know working at a local grocery store, whatever it may be. And I decided, oh my gosh, you know what store I have not shopped from in forever? Stradivarius. Um, I found out about them in 2018 while shopping in Poland and I literally bought like half of my wardrobe there when I was in Spain last year and so I figured okay uh, they offer shipping to the US let me ship some stuff here. Stradivarius is under the same family of brands as Bershka, Poland Bear, Zara, and H&M as well as a ton of others so if any of those sound familiar you might kind of get the gist of what kind of clothing they sell. This is probably one of the most successful hauls that I have done in my life. So um, with that anticipation in mind, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so this is the first piece. It is this really pretty sky blue ruched top. As you can tell, it's kind of flat in the back. It's just a normal, pretty breathable material. The whole thing has a little bit of a bounce to it, as you can tell. But let's go ahead and give this top a shot. All right, so. First impressions, I absolutely love this shirt. I, I, I think it just looks so good. Again, I had to go ahead and style it with a t-shirt bra that I have from Pink that just ever so happened to be the same color. But I think ideally, I'd probably wanna do this with some kind of strapless bra underneath. I just think it would look a lot better. Um, I decided to style it with this blue suede skirt that I have from Parcel 22. I got it a year or two ago, I wanna say. It gets ridiculously hot. We have days that are 100 degrees plus here in Austin quite a bit during the summer. And this top just feels really breathable. I feel like I can wear it no problem out of the house. But I think the one thing that I would change about it, and obviously I knew this going into the purchase, was the fact that it was not ruched on the back. That same shape flattering style in the back, which I think would make the shirt a lot better. If I were the one who had designed it, I probably would have just gone ahead and done the design all the way around. But then you are trading a little bit of that comfort, that flexibility in the shirt. But overall, I would honestly rate this top a 10 out of 10. Like I totally see myself wearing this. I actually would even debate getting it in another color if they still had it available. And just for reference, I'm wearing a size medium. So if that helps you guys out, I think the medium helps it be a little bit longer, not so cropped. All right, let's go ahead and open the next item. All right, you guys, this is piece number two. These are the denim shorts in the color Ecru. Ecru. I never know how to say it. Anyway, these are the denim shorts, just the standard ones from Stradivarius. I'm wearing them in a size six, again, for reference. Overall, I gotta say, I think that these have a lot more potential once they're broken in. Something that I really like about them is that the length seems to be just right. The front is obviously styled to be a little bit more on the high-waisted side, something to note or size up with, but I would would say that a six is definitely my size. These might be more of a spring slash fall piece, at least if you live here in Austin. I completely wore out my last pair of denim shorts that I had, so I think that these will be kind of a good addition. Overall, I think I would probably rate these a seven. I think that they have potential to move up to an eight though, once I break them in a couple of times. But this is piece number three, which is this white Western belt from Stradivarius. First of all, like the buckle and everything is definitely metal, which I think is really good. I kind of expected it to be plastic. Not that the standard was low, but that's that was just my expectation from what I've purchased at other brands similar to Stradivarius. Would I really be a Texas girl if I didn't have some legit Western belts to prove for it? No, I wouldn't be, which is why I went ahead and compared it to some of my legitimate, like authentic Western cowboy belts that I have. Obviously the belt is narrower, the leather is made more so you can actually fit it through your jeans. One complaint is probably that it does seem to get dirty slash damaged quickly, but to make up for it, it does have a cute little 
silver end here at the bit. So overall, I think I'd go ahead and rate this belt a solid nine out of 10. My only issue is the discoloration and the fact that it did look smaller, but aside from the point, super cute belt. I've already worn it twice, hence the lack of tags. You guys know what's up. All right, so this is piece number four. Um, this is actually not mine. My mom went ahead and actually ordered these pants, so hence them being a size a little smaller. These are a four on me, um, but thankfully this is kind of an oversized style, so it doesn't hugely matter to be honest. These are just the slouchy fit pants from Stradivarius and as you can tell they have a very baggy look. They have a wider waistband here so you can wear kind of a wider belt with it if you'd like. I'd say the best thing about them is how secure the band at the top feels. You it's definitely a comfortable fit, but I don't feel like I'm just wearing sweatpants. They feel more elegant than that. Like if I wanted to, I could tuck a shirt in or tuck a sweater in. And the material is so breathable that I could totally see myself wearing this for either winter or for spring. I'd say the only real downside is the fact that they are so baggy. Again, I think that I will be spending a lot of time ironing these if I do ever happen to borrow them from my mom. There are a few loose threads on the inside, but I feel like that's kind of expected. It happens every now and then. So overall, I want to say I'd probably rate these pants like a seven, maybe like a six or a seven. Again, I don't hate them. I would recommend them to someone who is looking for a looser style, but I'm just kind of thinking like, oh, how would I wear this in my closet or so? But the color is really pretty. So that gains it so many points back. All right, guys, this is outfit number five. Let me start off by saying that um, I think that they look so cool. Clothing, I love utility pants, utility jumpsuits. Like maybe I was just meant to be a handyman in like a previous life or something. But so obviously these are very high-waisted pants, but the zipper literally goes all the way up. Like. You know how usually there's a little bit of space between the top of your jeans and like maybe there's a button or something? No, the zipper just goes all the way up, which I think makes it hold better to be completely honest. I, I feel a little nervous that there's no like hook or anything so that it doesn't unzip, but I guess this belt does kind of do the trick. It is very, very stretchy. It's almost made of like a, like a bungee sort of material, which is kind of cool. This one is actually sitting pretty securely. Uh, you do have more pocket options that you may or may not be frowned down upon for utilizing. It's just overall how good the material feels. Like I think I've had pain from like Banana Republic and black and white uh, that have probably cost like four or five times the amount of these. Medium work for the other stuff that I tried on, but this is just a little bit too big. Um, I think that you could do even slimmer by sizing down in these, but overall I would probably go ahead and give these pants a solid eight out of 10. I think that they definitely earned it. And again, the color is great. I think that the pockets are not, I don't feel like they're gonna fall out as I'm washing it or anything. So they seem to fit right in with that work from home look that everyone's been rocking lately. All right, so this is piece number six. We've got this fanny pack from Stradivarius. Again, my mom decided to go ahead and order this. She thought it'd be kind of a cute uh, little accessory to have and something that you can just carry your phone, your keys, your camera, your sunglasses, whatever you need in it because it is so lightweight. I'd say the only downside of this is that while it is lightweight and actually pretty well built, um, I would have liked the zipper to be a little bit smoother. It's a little tricky to use, unfortunately. And I also would want some kind of inside pockets. Um, again, otherwise it is so cute. And as you can tell, when I put it to my jeans here, they're just a couple shades apart from each other. So I think you can really add to this look. I'm gonna give you guys some close-ups just so you can kind of see the material. It has a little bit more shine to it than I saw online um, but overall I think that I would totally wear this and you can style it in a bunch of different ways which equally makes it just such a fun little 
fanny pack to wear. For me, bag functionality is a huge thing. I am very picky with bags, especially ones that are not easily accessible. I'm definitely gonna steal it from my mom's closet every now and then. So uh, overall, I'd say this one's pretty much a winner. If you need just a little lightweight bag to like toss over when you run to the grocery store. Okay, you guys, so this last piece is a bodysuit. And it is very narrow around the neck, but I have full face of makeup on. I'm not really sure how to put this on. This is like one of those things, I didn't think about it before I filmed. Uh, I had like a work call and stuff today, so I just really was not on my mind to film. That's the neck hole right there. So uh, I have to somehow get this on. So I'm gonna put this bag, cause it's like breathable, over my head. All right, with much struggle and a bag over my head, I managed to get this bodysuit on. Literally, my only complaint about this piece though, aside from the fact that it is a little bit difficult to find things to wear under it, it's nice and thick, it's very breathable. I, I feel like I have a lot of room under it. I feel so comfortable in this. Um, again, the high neck look is really in right now, so I'm wearing it with like a little gold statement necklace like that. Would I buy it in other colors? Possibly. I just, I was really nervous buying a white bodysuit, especially because the price was not that bad. I, I want to say it was maybe 15 or 20 bucks, but it feels a lot like the Zara ones uh, or the same family of companies. So that would definitely make sense. I think overall I would probably rate it an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I just, I don't have really any huge complaints about this piece besides for the fact that it does show whatever you're wearing, like not, not the color of it per se, but it does show like the style so you need something seamless. And it does come with a lot of tags. There's like a tag that I had to tuck in in the back. There was a tag here on the side. There was a tag here on the hip too, which I was like, how many tags do we need on this thing? I don't even know. It is a really cute little piece to have. A great essential for the closet. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching that try on haul. If you enjoyed this, I do have a pink one coming up. Um, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but pink did send me this box that is literally filled to the brim with adorable spring summer collection stuff. So more fashion videos are on the way. If those are up your alley, you might want to go ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification too, so that you can get notified anytime I upload and I promise I will not annoy you. So without further ado, um, I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, continue washing your hands. I know everybody in the universe is telling you this, but it is amazing the difference that one person can make. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye lovelies.